Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is RJ. So today we're dropping in on Space Bit, and yes, the war has started. So we're going to be taking a look at what it's all about and how we got on. So keep watching. Okay, and welcome to another video. And remember, if this is your first time visiting my channel and you want to learn more about how to earn cryptocurrency for free, about cloud mining sites, crypto investments, and lots of other crypto related stuff, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to tag that notification bell so you're alerted to all my latest content as it comes online okay so as you can see we're in our space bit account and yes this is the online game where you can earn bitcoin for playing a cool space strategy game with your friends so let's check it out okay so in my early videos i talked about how this game is in alpha and that is we are still in alpha but the uh, developers are pushing this game forward faster and faster all the time and the most recent development is that we can now actually have wars between our alliances so one of the things that was uh, brought on board uh, about a month or so ago was the ability to create alliances. Now, obviously, with that, you can invite your friends or you can even invite other players that you um, see dotted around the board uh, to join your alliance. With that, obviously, they bring uh, their points, their glory points which um, you can see here in the rankings. If we go into rankings, you can see my glory points are 403,595. So I sort of fluctuate. I'm up and down, up and down. Anyway, like I say, if you can see here, all the different, all the players have um, glory points depending on, um, you know, what they've done, what they uh, have achieved in the game. One of the main ways to bump up your glory points is in fact upgrade things like buildings do uh your upgrade your laboratory items up, uh, basically build spaceships in your hangar uh, build your planetary defenses all stuff like that you will earn you glory points and therefore push you up the leaderboard now obviously with the uh glory points what you're hoping is that whoever you invite to your alliance will be bringing with them a good fleet of spaceships so everything from everything from light fighters right the way through to motherships so you've got you know you've got light cruisers heavy cruisers bombers uh, speeders all those kind of things and you're hoping that basically the people that you're bringing on board will be bringing a large amount of that with them or they have the ability to build more because at the end of the day with these uh, alliance battles essentially uh, you are defending your planet or you are attacking another planet and if you don't have a lot of fighters or a lot of bombers or basically a lot of spaceships you're not really gonna if you're attacking them you're not really gonna do them too much damage and if they're attacking you, you're probably going to not have a large enough force to defend your planet. So obviously that means that they would earn more points from you. And in this game, points mean prizes. So if we quickly look in here, we can go into the alliance rankings. Now we, uh, this is my alliance, RJ Starship Troopers. I realize it is a very cheesy name but i just you know at the end of the day we want to have a bit of fun so that's why i threw that in there and basically we had a, a recent battle against pt space now you can see in that battle we won our total war points were 224,507 and pt space ended up with 200,918 now it was a lot i have to say it was actually a lot closer than I expected, you know, because it, it, it's the first time we did this. It's very, it's actually quite difficult to organize everybody. I did set up a meeting room for the Alliance in the chat, but 
not everybody decided to come along. Therefore, not everybody had all the information that they required to participate in the battle. And therefore, those people either did nothing or they did not do a lot. Uh, and that is basically what is going to be the defining thing between whether your alliance does well or or whether you don't and that is basically trying to get everybody together all on the same page all working to win your wars and if you can get that if you can build a really good team around you then you're going to be triumphant you're going to be victorious in those battles but at the end of the day like i say it's early days as you can see here it's still saying that the first season has not actually started now the reason why uh, the developers of Spacebit brought the wars online and the alliances online before actually starting the season is because they're looking for bugs. They're looking for things that are not working, things that, you know, don't quite sort of mesh or you sort of go as they should. So basically, while we're uh, sort of having our wars in this current sort of early stage, they can monitor those things. They can, or we can report to them. We can say like, this is not working. That's not working. That stopped working. Those things are being cancelled when we try and uh, implement them. All those kind of things. We we as players help uh, the developers as much as they help us. And obviously, if we work again as a bit of a team, we can push this game forward a lot faster because we're telling them what the bugs are and then they can fix and that's the point of being in an alpha it's what the point of being in a beta is all about is essentially working together and bringing uh the two sides uh as one and essentially the goal is to create and push the game forward uh to the point where it is absolutely brilliant now this is this game is a lot of fun, especially now the wars have started. You can see that uh, only four uh, planets or four alliances have actually partaken in the wars. Uh, and it's quite funny because my or our alliance and PT Space, we were actually first in the leaderboard. And I don't think anybody else realized that they could actually partake in a war and then all of a sudden nato and space slicer popped up uh, and obviously these guys they have a lot more uh, rank higher ranking players they have a lot more they probably have a lot more ships so they went head to head um and duped it out and nato basically won as you can see there but um yeah so like i say i mean if you look at all these other alliances nobody else is uh taking part in these wars and it's like i say i'm not sure if they don't know or what they're doing is they are waiting to the point where they're actually gonna earn rewards now because until the season starts we're not actually earning although if we dive in here if we go into my alliance you can see here after our war, it said the Alliance bit, so that is essentially the Alliance Bitcoin is 1,000. Obviously, it's not a whole lot, but, you know, it that is there, and obviously that hopefully will remain there and will be added to our tally once the season does start, and therefore, obviously, uh, any Bitcoins earned after the season starts will be then divided between all the players, and it's just, you know, it's a fun uh, way of earning yourself some Bitcoin. And if you, we go back into the rankings, the top the top amount is 250,000 uh, Bitcoin uh, or Satoshis, I'm guessing that would be. It wouldn't be Bitcoin, would it? Uh, Satoshis, that would be for per in a season. So, you know, that's like about $25, I think I worked it out at. So that's $25 split between those members of your alliance and um yeah so i think it you know it's quite a cool little thing and for those of you that are not familiar with what space bit is all about but 
think it looks like a fun and interesting way to earn yourself some free crypto what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the description to a playlist now there's only a few videos in that playlist I do suggest that you check them out get all the hints and tips and and ideas from those videos and if you go right the way through to the end of this video that link will be there also so you can just click straight on it and get watching and if we do go back into here you can see that basically the way you would wage war on uh, an alliance is you can pick up go into the drop down you can see all the different alliances here so i could click on pt space again let's say uh, and then i would click my duration so i did do i want it as a three-day war or as a five-day war and then you just click apply and then once you click apply that goes to a vote which all the members of your alliance uh, have to vote on um, but at that point as long as you get 51 percent of the vote so if you, you know it basically only if you get at over 50 percent of all your members saying yes we want to go to war then it goes to then it goes to the next level the next level is then your council because you appoint a council uh, you have a, uh, a member called the wise one then you have a diplomat and you have a commander so once your alliance is up and running and you people have joined that you then have to decide who you want to make as part of your council and basically they then have the final say but that final say has to be 100 percent even if one person from those three council members say no that is it the war does not go ahead so I like that because the great thing about that is what I'm hoping and what is, what should really happen is you know all the members vote and then basically your council sort of should look at it and think well you know is this a good move you know look at the alliance that has been proposed to attack you know weigh up the odds you know how many glory points have they had got how many members have they got you know if you know and things like that and that's that's what essentially your council is there for is to have that final say and to say whether or not they believe that it is a good move now the if you go into the war history now this is where you can gauge on whether your alliance members are putting in the work and this is sort of where it for me it comes down to after you've had a few wars you can then start thinking well you know that member uh you know he's putting in a bit of effort but in the last three wars they've put in only 10 percent compared to everybody else and that's where you've got to be harsh and then you just say yeah they are not basically doing our alliance any good whatsoever so I'm going to cut them and that is what you got to that's how you got to be it's how I am with my VMP in a uh, crypto mining game basically I state that each person has to uh, achieve a certain amount every season and if they don't then they're out of there and that but it's more difficult this is a problem with this with space bit it's a lot more difficult because as you can see here as you can see here you have war points earned uh you have resources delivered so that basically the great thing is if you've got a an alliance member that is say been, been particularly targeted by your enemy they've lost no end of ships you can then send them ships so you uh, or you can send them resources you can send them metal you can send them crystals plastic uh, whatever they require you can send them as you can see although this is not quite right because I actually had someone send me um, I think it was Zoriac sent me uh, 4 million crystals uh, and 100 ships uh, so thank you very much Zoriac uh, and that's not been listed but you can see here spaceships delivered uh, 700 was sent by uh, S Manic 86 also as well I actually sent I think 500 ships to someone that's not been delivered that's not been registered so you know again we're in alpha 
so you know some of these things probably might be a little bit glitchy so certain things that you know like i said are not showing up but i'm sure they will in the future and then obviously spy mission so you can see how many uh people uh were spied on now gira 72 aj 101 and h401d I didn't really expect a lot from these three people because they, uh, well, AJ101 actually joined after the war. But these two, I recruited sort of during the war. They had not been able, obviously they had not attended the meeting. I did send a, a message to both of these people saying and sending coordinates of a planet very near them. For them to go and attack. Now, Gira did. The, the, they attacked and got 234 war points. I know uh, H401D, um, they sent out some spy missions or one spy mission. So they did partake a little bit, but I didn't really expect a lot from those guys because, like I say, I actually recruited them during the war. And Toad Sticker, same as AJ, actually. Um, joined us after the war so you know like i say these bottom four that's totally cool uh you can see that uh, most people uh participated uh, actually by uh, attacking planets um, to some degree you can see i got thirty nine thousand uh war points uh s manic got nearly uh, twenty eight thousand uh you got 700 there five thousand 6,000, uh, 45,000, 14,000, 10,000, 55,000, 16,000, and then 2,000, um, 2,500 there. So, but like I say, it is very, very early days in this. But just as, a, uh, as I said, for, for those of you that are in the Alliance, you know, we're looking to get the best of the best. We want uh, our Alliance to be as strong as possible so we can go to war and earn that bitcoin at the end of the day that is why we are here uh, and therefore you know we need people to be pitching in and attending the uh, alliance meetings you know getting the information that they require discussing tactics brainstorming during the war what can be done all that kind of stuff who we can help out that's what is required to be successful in this game uh the other thing is as well, uh, for those of you that are looking to join an alliance, I have actually recently modified um, our alliance uh, requirements. Basically, obviously, everybody everybody um, in the alliance now is completely safe. But what I've done in the pursuit of uh, basically pushing our alliance forward as much as possible, the requirement now to join our alliance is now 250,000 glory points uh, and like I say you know when we go to war you know we as an alliance do expect you to uh, attend meetings participate in the wars you know and not just be sitting back and um, letting everybody else do the work and earning that Bitcoin because we will see that as you can see we can see your numbers so that will not last long if that is what you're planning to do and i basically i know that sounds a bit harsh and it you know but that's what we're here for we're here to win the wars and earn bitcoins so now one of the things that needs to be mentioned uh and is very very important because i don't want anybody coming on this game and then sort of ending up wasting their time uh unless you are actually in an alliance and taking or participating in the wars you will not earn any coins from this game so again let me repeat unless you are connected with an alliance like you're part of an alliance and you are partaking in the wars uh you are not gonna earn anything from this game so like i say you know for me I think this game is coming on leaps and bounds. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, obviously, with the alliances, uh, you can click on that and you can go through them. Uh, you can see uh, which alliances are stronger than your alliance or weaker than your alliance and therefore uh, might be a good target to attack. But, you know, you've, there's lots of factors that you've got to get 
in your head and way up before you jump in with both feet and understand uh, because you could well get you might well say well they've not got many members but if their glory if their glory points are massively high but they've only got four members well each one of those members has a huge amount of glory points therefore making them very strong uh, and also as well i will probably guarantee they will probably have a lot of ships as well so it's just things like that you gotta think about when you're playing this game uh so Obviously, uh, we have uh, the quests that we complete every single day. As you would see in uh, my um, previous videos, these are and uh, these are just like the quests that we've completed. Uh, and like I say, and the idea is basically for each one of these, you will earn KSK. Uh, KSK uh, is basically going to be the in, the in-game currency, uh, and I did see on Discord some people were talking about the upcoming uh, planetary NFTs uh, and whether you would be purchasing them with KSK. And yes, you would be, as far as I know. Basically, uh, when they are brought on board. Uh, you will be able to purchase uh, planetary NFTs with your KSK and therefore once that happens and the colonization feature comes on board which is something I'm hoping going to be coming very soon you will actually be able to colonize your NFTs and other planets with your uh, settlers so if you're wondering what that's all about basically if we go into settlers so you have builders, workers, and scientists. Which so you so I could so you can designate your settlers. So basically, with every quest that you do, you will also rescue a certain amount of people from a planet, a asteroid, a comet. Why there are people on comets, I have no idea. That must be a nightmare of an existence. <laughs> uh, but anyway, you do. Uh, you claim uh, settlers and obviously like I say you can designate them to either be scientists workers or builders but the ones that are not designated when the colonization feature is implemented all of these non-designated settlers you can send out to other planets whether it be your uh, planetary NFTs or other planets that you have discovered which you can uh, inhabit yourselves uh, you can then send your settlers there and start a new colony and essentially once that happens that then starts making you stronger it gives you another base for more ships uh, and therefore when it comes to the wars it gives you another sort of uh, what's the uh, what would be the word um, gun in your holster or whatever uh, as a means of attacking other planets so that basically you know the more planets you can ha inhabit and colonize therefore the greater numbers of ships uh, you have to attack other planets uh, and other alliances so that is pretty much uh, what is going on uh, with Space Bits. Uh, I hope you found it informative and useful. Uh, and if you can smash that like button, it really does support my channel, which then helps me bring more content to you. So take care, have a great rest of your week, and I will speak to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.